The verdict is in. Donald Trump owes writer E. Jean Carroll more than $80 million in compensatory and punitive damages after he was found liable of defamation. This all comes following days of testimony with Trump attending most of the proceedings in person. Fox News correspondent Connor Hansen has that story. After a short deliberation, a jury decided former President Donald Trump should pay $83 million in damages. Trump reportedly walked out of the courtroom while E. Jean Carroll's lawyer spoke. And at one point, the judge told Trump's lawyer, Alina Haba, she was on the verge of getting kicked out. The former president testified for less than five minutes. He has spoken out against the case, claiming it's unfair. This whole thing is rigged election interference. Carol, a former magazine columnist, is seeking damages against Trump for statements he made in 2019. The jury was asked to decide how much Trump should pay. Carol's lawyer asked for 12 million. And I frankly am the one that suffered damages. I should be given money. Back in May, a different jury found Trump liable for sexually assaulting Carol in a department store dressing room in the 1990s and then defaming her in 2022. He was ordered to pay her $5 million that time. Trump has denied any wrongdoing in both cases. Over the past two weeks, Trump has gone back and forth from the courtroom to the campaign trail. They want to silence me because I will never silence you. Carol's team alleging that Trump is leveraging the case for political gain, writing, quote, we previously expressed our concern that the defendant would use his testimony in this case to turn the trial into a campaign event. On Friday, Trump canceled an event in Arizona to be in New York for closing arguments. Trump is still facing several other federal and civil cases. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.